question is, how do you check a blood pressure? Um, you want a person to be at, relaxed and at rest when you check their blood pressure. If they've just hustled into your office or into where you are from the parking lot, then you don't want to check it immediately. You want to give them 10 or 15 minutes to relax and calm down because your heart speeds up, your pressure goes up as a result of any physical exertion. So you want the person relaxed and calm to do it. If you get an initial reading that's elevated, it behooves you to check another one 10 to 15 minutes later to make sure that it has come down or that it's stable and not going up. A lot of times in the medical profession we refer to the white coat effect. Patients come in and they're nervous for being at the doctor's office and they see the white coat and their blood pressure goes up. So we wait 10 or 15, 20 minutes, talk to them, relax them, get things off their mind, make them comfortable and then recheck it and usually it has come down within 10 to 15 minutes. The blood pressure is measured by use of an air bladder that goes around your arm snugly and then it has a sphygmometer which is a pressure air pressure monitoring gauge that is calibrated to millimeters of mercury and you pump up the blood pressure cuff or bladder air bladder to actually stop the flow of blood in the arm and then you slowly release the air pressure off while listening to the blood flow at an artery in the arm and the measures you get are when the blood flow starts, which is the systolic or high part of the blood pressure, and then you get a diastolic reading, which is the low part of the reading, and that's when the blood pressure cuff has completely let go of pressure on the vessel, and so you get the baseline pressure of the blood in the blood vessel itself.